like something straight out of a movie. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mark. WRO's Ashley Rowe joins us live from Town Hall Road in Dorches. Ashley, about a half hour ago, you showed us the work going on to clean up there while some children were just nearby trying to play. Not an easy day there today. No, I mean, people have truly lost their homes. I mean, look at this house behind me. If you look through it, the, the wall to the home has, has been destroyed so much so that we can see the bed to this family's bedroom. We don't know when this family will ever be able to rebuild. This, the images here really showcase just how much of a human story this is. You know, just off to the side here, Vinny, if you can showcase the, the, the toy, the children's car that's over there. And then we see shingles from the roof on the ground. And over here, this is a check from someone's home, a, a check from 1992. I mean, people's lives have been scattered all over the ground here. I want to show you some drone video that Vinny was able to shoot uh, just m moments ago. This really gives you a, a clearer picture of the numbers that you have been hearing about the debris wall from this tornado about two and a half miles wide near I-95. This is a neighborhood that will be rebuilding for some time. Back here on the ground, you see that uh, there are a number of crews that are trying to clean up a lot of the mess from the trees that have fallen down. Uh, across the street, there are a lot of houses that uh, have to get tarps put up on the roofs. They're, the roofs are completely blown off. Uh, Duke Energy is here as well because we know that there are a lot of power outages, as Mark was talking about. This is a, this is a mess that is going to take a whole while to clean up. Chelsea Donovan has been surveying uh, other damage from other parts of the county uh, with the sheriff as well. Chelsea. Yeah, we're here on North Old Carriage Road in the Red Oak community where that damage cleanup continues. You can see behind me just a huddle of people with the chainsaws are humming. And you can see one of the nice iconic images here, though, Old Glory still flying amongst the mess that this tornado has caused here in this Red Oak community. You can see this is the Puckett home. It was built in 1988, and the gentleman inside was recovering from hip surgery when all all of this happened and he was able very quickly as he was home alone to take shelter he said all of this happened in less than 30 seconds it sounded like a freight train but he was able to take shelter inside and when he opened up his door this is what he saw these trees that have just been uh, sort of splintered it looks like just a bunch of pickup sticks here in this lawn and I want to show you the neighbor here of course these folks have no power and won't for some time you can see this massive tree and it's also crushed the little carport over there as well as the car but what's interesting in this community you can tell that the tornado just sort of cut a straight line along this road. But when you go over across the street at the new community, it's called Timber Lake, absolutely no damage. So uh, Mother Nature works in mysterious ways, but of course the cleanup continues here on North Carriage Road. There are still around 1,500 people in the Nash County community without power, and that could be this way for quite some time as this community continues to pick up the pieces little by little. Chelsea, just uh, it really hits close when you talk about uh, the, the way that Mother Nature works and how it just cuts a direct line through. You know, we hear about it, our w, uh, WRAL meteorologists talk about it, but when you really see it, it is, it is so striking just how clear of a line it is. You know, we are standing amidst so much debris, but just off the way, you can see there are just, just feet away, there's uh, some folks that are standing in a parking lot there. That's actually the parking lot to uh, the Dorches Town Hall building barely any damage there compared to the the house that is just uh, behind us here where we can see the bedroom inside because the home has just been completely destroyed gerald deborah we'll send it back inside to you for now so hit or miss one yeah. of the most stunning images that we've been seeing actually is from the pfizer plant part of that building is destroyed wrl shelly jackson is there live and shelly we've seen these aerials for a while actually we're going to go to mike mays in the wrl severe weather center mike you have another weather warning for us there's a severe thunderstorm warning that's just been issued for wayne county southwestern wayne county northern sampson east central cumberland county that's until about 
about six o'clock. We see it here on the radar view. Uh, we were pointing out these thunderstorms earlier and said that we had that potential for a strong to severe storm. This is moving to the southeast at about 10 miles per hour. Top winds are at 60 miles per hour. Potential and quarter size hail. I'll continue to monitor this. If there's any more reason to break in, I will. If not, I'll see you in weather in about 10 minutes. Gerald? Dan? All right, Mike, thank you. Let's go back out to Shelly. She's now in front of the yeah. Pfizer plant in Nash County where we've seen just an incredible amount of damage. Shelly? Well, that's right, Gerald. There's a serious damage here at the facility. It's mostly behind the plant. We're out here in the front and we'll show you what damage we can see from here. First, it did take over this huge tree here, uprooted it from the roots, fell onto this fence, took the fence down around both sides. We have dozens of crews out here to repair these power poles because there's power poles down all around the facility and a bit down this road here too was laying. Now I think we do have some video of the damage behind the facility. We have spent hours today trying to get to the damage behind the facility. A lot of the little side roads that we try to drive, they are littered with debris. Huge trees like the one I just sold, showed you have fallen into the middle of the road. So we had to climb over some trees. Uh, we were not able to see more than the roof of the facility. So we didn't get any view from the ground of the damage. But I did talk to a few people today. One man was out here working and he said he saw the tornado rip straight toward the facility and take the roof off of the building. Another man told me he had a relative inside who said he was obviously very scared and that there were some minor injuries. Now, about 90 minutes ago, Pfizer releasing a statement acknowledging the damage and saying at this point there are no serious reports of injuries. Pfizer is the number one employer here in Rocky Mountain and they produce a lot of medication. Right now, Pfizer said they are trying to determine just how much of that medication has been destroyed and what they're able to salvage. And they also wish their colleagues, their parent, patients, and the community well as they work through this tragedy. Dan. Boy, it looks like a can opener just peeled the roof off of that massive building. And look at the fence behind you, yeah. Shelly. I mean, that's just incredible. The amount of power it must have taken to blow down that fence like that. Yeah. Thank you, Shelly. We have much more coverage of the tornado damage in Nash County coming up. More live reports from the scene as we learn more about the destruction this storm left behind. Count on the WRA weather team to keep you informed of all the threatening weather situations. And a reminder, our team is here to alert you whenever severe weather hits. Download the WRA weather app and don't miss an update. You'll get alerts right there on your phone. Thousands of people are coming to Chapel Hill 